Evening folks, uh, Martin's ongoing design tips uh, here. So what I wanted to do with this particular scene is to have a screen share overlay. So that's actually a keynote presentation in the background in white. But what I wanted to do was put a surround around it because one of the things that we have um, with uh, the format of a keynote or a screen share being sort of 16 by 9 is that the amount of space it takes up on the screen is a bit awkward when compared with the shape of your uh, camera placeholder overlays. So to get over this I kind of wanted to fill the bottom part of the screen with a stand and keyboard. So that's what I've done. I've actually gone and created this um, using uh, Photoshop AI so I just asked it to create a flat screen monitor for me. Now it never does it quite correctly so I have had to take this image out and remove the background and play about with it to get the sizing right as well and uh, jig it around quite quite a bit but it's given me something which looks quite neat and tidy and fairly modern so uh, I like the sort of narrow edge around the screen slightly broader at the bottom and a little bit of room there if I wanted to to add something in below the screen. However, I don't really like it as it is. It, there was a time where I thought, oh, it's really impressive to have a, a screen and then something within the screen, and that looks really cool. But in this case, I'm not sure that it does, really. It's become a little bit cheesy to do that. So what I wanted to do was just to take the same image, but make it look uh, a little bit nicer. So quite simply what I'm going to do is, and you can't see me doing this, but I'm just going to the properties of the PNG for the monitor here. And I'm just going to click on the little wheel and then start changing a couple of properties on this. So one thing I could do is just bring down the opacity on that so that I'm getting some form of a, um, a shape still showing, but not the sort of obvious shape, because actually I want to draw attention to the um, PowerPoint or Keynote deck anyway. So this is me just dropping the opacity down a bit, but what I'm going to also do is change the blend mode. So if I change the blend mode to overlay, then suddenly what I've got in the background is um, a nice indication of a monitor without actually having that sort of really stark monitor shape and everything blends into the background nicely and I could change to a different background and it's still going to blend in and then just to add a little extra touch I decided I was going to add in a little icon as well which is my sort of favicon if that's the correct term so if I just hide that down there I could put anything I wanted on the bottom of this monitor so I could even brand it very subtly in the background as well so just by doing it this way, uh, I think it looks just a little bit neater and tidier and more subtle. But it it gets over that problem of us having that big lump in the middle uh, or at the bottom of the screen or everything looking out of proportion. Suddenly the screen looks in proportion and I'm good. And I could change this to three guests or four guests on the left hand side and it's still going to look all right. I could go grab my pointer and... Uh, grab the next slide I think I don't actually think I've got <laughs> I've got any slides in there so uh, obviously I'm on the wrong thing there so let me press that when I uh, press my little forwards and backwards button I need to have the mouse in the right place and if it's not in the right place it doesn't work it advances a scene on Ecamm instead so if I go up here it's now going to advance a scene and uh, not not a particularly good uh, PowerPoint or Keynote deck. I can't quite remember what I was doing with that one, to be honest. Um, but it kind of matched with the colouring that I'd got here, so I thought that's the one I would have a little play about with. So that's my design idea for today, is just to fill up the screen, but very subtly uh, give the impression of this sort of monitor in the background. So I'm going to work on that one, and I guess I have to do it several times for multiple different guests. But for the moment, uh, that's design tip number three from Edinburgh. See you later. Cheerio.